Well, we've checked everywhere else, and Lambert's still missing. Perhaps he is locked in the vault. Mm, I gave orders I was not to be disturbed. These figures must be finished. Hello. 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 Uh, perhaps I'll get some peace and quiet now. He's in there, all right, but he's rung off. Lambert always did bury himself in his work. You'll get no... Look at the indicator. In another two hours, all the air will be pumped out. We can't stop it, and we can't open the vault. Contact Lord Silton. He has the key. He said something about dining at a stately home. I, I don't know where. Oh, dear, oh dear. I'll have to use the emergency call system. Well, here's to you, Lady Fidelity. Still can't thank you enough for all you did. Oh, it was nothing. And anyway, Parker must take most of the credit. A real treasure, that man of yours. Wish I could find someone like him. Knows his place, dresses well. Sort of fellow you could take anywhere. Ain't you got my grub ready yet, Lil? What's the matter with you? I've only got one pair of hands, ain't I? Wasting your time here, girl. If you got more, <laughs> you'd make a few bob in a circus, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh -huh. What are you getting for their nibs, then? It's none of your business. Hello, hello. You want to keep your shirt on? Oh, Arthur's talking. Still, don't blame you not telling me. If I cook like you, I wouldn't shout about it, neither. Now, listen here, nosy. Hey, manners, manners. Mr. Parker, if you don't mind. All right, then, Mr. Nosy Parker. I've been slaving over this all day. Oh, come off it, Lil. I was only pulling your leg. What you done for them? Well, I'm starting them off with a drop of consom. Oh, audible load of old rubbish. Uh, then a special uh, escalope receipt, with all the trimmings, of course. Muck. Gives me heartburn just to look at it. And then they can finish off with their old crepey Suzettes and uh, coffee how they like it. Crepey? Yeah, well, they're welcome to it. Hey, what you got for me, then? Stew. Oh, me favourite. I spoil you, don't I? Here you are, here's your paper. I know how you like a read while you're eating. Ah, well, cool. Strike me feet like finger Fred's art. How pleased I am that you were able to accept my invitation to dinner, Lord Silton. The pleasure is all mine, Lady Penelope. So rarely am I able to get away from my duties at the Bank of England. You rang, madam? Yes. You may serve coffee now, Parker. Yes, milady. Would you like Parker to take your briefcase? No, thank you. It never leaves my side, you know. Everywhere I go. Good heavens. What's that noise? What is it? It's the emergency call system. I'm wanted at the bank immediately. Emergency? You mean the bank is being robbed? It could be. Beg your baby! Clumsy nincompoop! Parker! Oh, excuse the outburst, Lady Penelope. Oh, that's perfectly all right. But it was rather hot. Uh, I'm sorry, milady, uh, sir. I don't know what came over me. It must be a sudden shock. Well, go and get something to clean up this mess. I'm terribly sorry, Lord Silton. No time for apologies. I must ring the bank immediately. <laughs> Yes.
Yes? Lord Silton is coming through on the video phone now. Oh, at last. Now we'll be able to find out the trouble. Lovegrove. Now, what's all this emergency call about, eh? <laughs> We've been cut off. Parker. Yes, milady. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I've uh, <coughs> been uh, pruning the roses, madam. Get the Rolls Royce out, Parker. We're taking Lord Silton to London. Don't worry. We'll have you there in no time. My car is capable of phenomenal speeds. It's a very smooth ride. It feels as though we're hardly moving. Parker. Can't understand why we're going so slow, madam. I have my foot ah, down. I don't know what you're up to, but get us to London, quickly. Ninety minutes left and no sign of Lord Silton. They'll have to call for outside help. <laughs> 